Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LEW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 59. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to find various paths used by a DB2 database. This slide talks about the problem and the solution. The problem scenario is we want to find various paths used by a DB2 database. Uh, a database will use like database internal files, storage paths, like the storage groups use multiple storage paths. Uh, it is where actually the table space files are uh, stored or the data is stored. Uh, and table space containers. So this is uh, like if you are using DMS table spaces or user temporary table spaces like SMS table spaces, then uh, those um, path information we need. And log paths. So there are various uh, log paths um, involved. So one is active log directory, another one is archival log directory, mirror uh, log directory, like wherein it is just a backup for the active log directory and failure archive log directory, which is like when the archive log uh, path becomes full so it can use the failure archive log path so those are various log paths available now you can get this using uh, multiple commands like you can use snapshot for database and table space commands and uh, the output will have a lot of other information so you really have to scroll through a huge output and gather the required information individually so it is a bit tedious so what is the solution like we are looking like we don't want to use multiple commands and the output should be concise and the way we get it should be very simple so we can easily do that the solution for that is uh, you can use the admin view sysibmadm.db paths or table function admin list db paths which will give you almost all the storage related information like the db path storage path table space containers like that and you can use the view uh, db cfg for uh, getting the archival log information uh, there won't be any multiple commands involved it will be just like you know just a query and the output is going to be concise and the way you get it is simple so let's just look at uh, the example here so here I have started the instance I am creating a test database so these two are my storage path sp1 and sp2 and there is a database path uh, db2 data slash db internal this is where the db internal files are getting, going to get stored and I'm updating the uh, log, uh, the transaction log directory to slash db2 active log. So this is where my transaction log files will be. And mirror log path slash db2 mirror log. I'm activating the database. I'm updating the uh, log arc method one parameter. I'm configuring the archival log in a disk. Uh, the path is db2 arc log. And failure for uh, arc log path is db2 fail arc log. Then I'm deactivating the database. I'm taking a backup. So this backup is pretty much I don't, I'm not going to use it for restore or something so I'm just putting it to the null, de null device then I'm activating the database connecting to the test database create user temporary table space uh, in a directory uh, db2 data slash utemp and uh, data dms is a uh, dms uh, table space without using any storage uh, automatic storage capabilities and it has two containers in db2 data dms data 1.tbf and uh, um, D, db2 data dms data 2.dbf and uh, so that's it so now we'll run the query to get the output right so we want to so we will be using sysibmadm.dbcfg that is one admin view and another is sysibm.adm.db uh, paths i'm using a union so that both the result set will be combined and give one uh, output so here is this one so we got the solution so we have what are all the db path that is um, available and the db storage path and local database directory the log path in which the log is stored mirror log path the individual D dms table space container so if you have more dms table spaces everything will come here the individual sms table space container the failure archive log path directory and uh, the archival log mode like whether it is it, it might be tsm also in which case it is not a path so uh, we need not worry about that and log arc method 2 is off so almost all the path information used by a db2 database is uh, there in the output uh, simple and concise hope this information was useful to you thanks for watching this video please subscribe to my channel db2 lew academy see you in the next video tutorial thanks bye bye